Hi, I'm uh, Neil uh, W Z O V L Z, and I'm here in uh, Essex Park today. I decided to come out this morning and uh, do a little bit of QRP or low power operation. I have my entire station here in this lunch bag, and we'll set it out here on a table, and I'll show you what some of the equipment is. Basically what we have in the bag is uh, three different lengths of wires so that depending on which band I'm operating on I have a variety of antenna uh, possibilities here. I have the twine for uh, holding the antenna up into uh, one of these great trees that we have in Essex Park. Uh, <clears throat> this is all the power supply it takes, a 12 volt battery. This is my rig. This is a uh, this is a on a this is a on a on a Elecraft, uh, K1 transceiver. It's 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 uh, I purchased it as a kit. It has an antenna tuner built into it. It this one runs about five watts, uh, CW only, on uh, four bands, 40, 30, 20, and 15 meters. And then I have this uh, this uh, set of CW paddles that I uh, made up for uh, running, uh, for of course, running running CW. So, with this stuff here, plus my steno pad for, for, for copying stations, I'm all set up and, and, and I can connect this stuff together and get on the air. Of course, a part of a good QRP operation, the key part of it is, is the antenna. Basically, I have a station set up at a picnic table. Right now, no antenna connected to it. What I have here is, is a 10 ounce fishing weight. And uh, under my foot, instead of stretched out towards the table and back again, is about, oh, I don't know, 40 or 50 feet worth of line on the ground. And what I need to do is I need to get the line over, it, over a branch up in a tree here so I can attach it to my uh, attach it to my antenna wire and 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 pull up the antenna so and I've never had one of these come to come apart so I've never broken a car windshield this or, may be the first this, well yeah yeah well, now I have lost a weight or two up in a tree okay that happens once in a while but basically it's a matter of twirling it going as hard as you can the first time, I don't believe time. it. Of course it's the first time. <laughs> and over a tree limb, down to over your picnic table that you want to operate from, then then it's a matter of just removing the weight from the end of the line. Attaching it to the end of the antenna wire. Since the uh, nylon twine is an insulator, I don't need a separate insulator on this antenna installation. I just twist them together. I have the, the wire, or the twine running over the tree limb. I just pull it up. Pick a convenient tree in a distance here to pull the whole thing to. And now, you just have to sort of walk the <laughs> twine around a tree here. And it doesn't need to be tied in place. It's only a temporary sort of antenna insulation. So I just wrap it around the tree a couple of times. Neaten up the remaining twine a little bit. down on the ground and the antenna's up in the air. Uh, this particular radio has has had a built-in CPU so that it does a so, so that the one display can can uh, form uh, 
lots of different functions. It has things like a, a built-in menu so that you can uh, move through the different functions um, that you might need as uh, you are operating a rig. Um, and, uh, and it has uh, things like the uh, band display or the frequency display here only 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 shows the most significant digits unless you tap the band switch and then it steps through and shows everything else but the radio includes things like a uh, a uh, place that you can store things like a like a CQ and then you can uh, start to start a CQ going And it's sort of handy when you when you just sitting here at the picnic table operating, and you uh, don't want to uh, almost spend all of your time at the key. Let's see. As far as how I got into this, I've probably been doing QRP sort of operation operating for 10 or 15 years now. I uh, first got into it when going to visit my in-laws in Eastern Washington. Well, what can I take along to fill my time while while we're visiting the in-laws, right? Right. And uh, so I took along a radio. That particular radio happened to be military surplus Vietnam era sort of uh, uh, radio that uh, weighed about 30 pounds, and uh, it was not real convenient as far as getting there. From then I from uh, there, I uh, moved to a uh, Heath kit. Uh, QRP recent, uh, radio, and, and again, this is all CW. Uh, I um, like the CW equipment because it tends to be lighter. It is um, uh, more reliable communication if the signals are weak. So I've uh, been doing almost all of my QRP operating using CW. Other people choose to use uh, phone, single sideband for, for the QRP operating. Some folks I know have uh, their uh, computer connected in with their QRP station, and you might find them sitting here with a laptop open in front of them, connected to a radio, and using something like PSK31 to uh, do their uh, to, uh, to 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 do their QRP operation. Myself, I've I've uh, I've been doing mostly CW. Uh, in the process of doing QRP operating, I've done things like uh, oh, family reunions on a houseboat in, uh, in um, British Columbia. Took along a radio, took along an antenna, had it on the uh, houseboat and was able to do some operating that way. That was interesting. Um, other, other things, uh, this particular radio is real, real convenient. Um, a, a year ago this summer, took some traveling to the West Coast and sitting on the uh, sitting on the rim of Crater Lake, uh, 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 working working some guy in South Dakota. He's talking about sitting in the middle of a parking lot during his lunch break, and I'm talking about having uh, been on a hike, sitting on the <laughs> edge of a Crater Lake with this beautiful view out in front of me. So, uh, so it is sort of neat to, to be operating uh, something like QRP when you're out in the uh, woods. Uh, so. Okay, thanks a lot, Neil. You're welcome.